Hello, this is Evo coming at you again with another round of the Prompt Craft Reality Craft Generative AI Tools Product Reviews. We are unboxing some beta tech today together. Thank you for joining me. We are going to be looking at today Blockade Labs. Now, if you're a world builder, if you are someone who is trying to create spaces from scratch, this is an opportunity where you can get in there and test your prompt craft for a 360 background. So we are going to drop this music down just to the background music. And we're going to take a look at what Blockade Labs, that is blockadelabs.com, can do for you. If Creating these worlds from scratch is something you've been thinking about. This is a 360 that is generated inside a web window. And you can see I can look down and up. And at the bottom of this window is a prompt. So I've been in here testing out. Let's see how it goes. All right. So what I've done is I've just tested a very quick little prompt just to see what we get. So what I've asked it to create is an environment that is based on a maximalist home made of gems. I have given it some indication what type of materials it should use. And in this case, I've asked for a nebula environment. Now, I've tried a couple of different types, and I'm going to show you those while we very quickly wait for that generation. It takes a few minutes for each type of generation. We're talking about a 360 image that it's going to deliver back. So let's look at some of those sky boxes. These sky boxes, or uh, 360 backdrops, if you're if you're thinking about it in the sort of non-gaming sense, a skybox or a backdrop is a background. If you are in a 360 environment, this is your space to then create whatever you want. So we're going to look at a couple of the different types of skyboxes that have been created here in Blockade Labs. Now, each of these, as you can see, is quite different. Some of these I've used photorealism. Some of these are more uh, environments, uh, exteriors, backgrounds. Some of them are interiors, the sort of thing that you might use inside an interior design project. And it is still generating on the main window. So generally I'm seeing with this particular tool, this is blockadelabs.com, that each generation, if it's not too busy, will take a few minutes. Now you can compare that to something like Midjourney where you're going to get uh, maybe 45, 50 seconds per generation. Remember, this is a, a uh, higher resolution in the sense that you are getting a higher pixel count. This is a bigger picture by the end of the day. So uh, once again, we are looking at a tool today called Blockade Labs. That's blockadelabs.com. And I'm going to go ahead and pull out this piece here. And you can see again, we were in the window this is a previous window that I generated a little while ago, and it's currently generating a new scene for us, but we can roam around this one. I really like some of the detail that it came up with here. And over the past uh, two hours, I think I've tested maybe eight backgrounds. And then I'm gonna show you a little bit of what you can do with these both 
in terms of your own uh, game or storytelling prototyping, but also for uh, galleries and things like that. So I've been uh, cataloging different types of backgrounds that I might want to use in future art projects. So then combining these backgrounds with these kinds of generative images that I've been working on. We can then take those into another 3D design program and bring it all together. So here are some of the uh, crystalline buildings I've been working on that might go in this gem-like environment. And then eventually I will uh, decide which pieces I wanna composite. And then if I want to bring those into a game engine or something else. Now, there's a couple of other ways we can do that right in the browser. And we're going to take a look at one of those methods in just a second. Looks like the generator is going to take us a few more minutes here. So what I'm going to do is take us out real quick and show you a different place. I'm going to show you what I've been doing with some of those images really fast. So what we're going to see here is my new gallery in framevr.io. Um, some of you have used frame before. It's a place where you can roll your own metaverse experiences very quickly. And so I've been taking those, uh, 360 photos and turning them into these balls that you see here inside the gallery. So in this little immersive gallery, I've got a mix of video content, 2D content. I can put my models in here, but I can also put maybe a design or two that I want to juxtapose, or I can create galleries that bring together a look and feel. For example, uh, the crystalline works or the maximalism works. So I'm prototyping here right now because I wanted to be able to see what different 360 images would look like in different formats. Uh, but you can see that this gives you at least a way to display those images without necessarily bringing them into a full skybox. So what I'm going to do is see if we can